Um, we now come to uh, what is uh, traditionally one of, the, one of the favorite uh, parts of the program. This is the 20-minute uh, wrap-up. Now, historically, this has been the province of people named Mark. Uh, for the first few years, it was Mark Carden, and then for a couple of years after that, I believe, it was Mark Allen. And this year, we've decided to go off in a completely different uh, direction. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Anna, Anna Sharman, who will wrap us up. Um, thank you, Rick. Uh, so I've managed to add in my um, um, pic picture, at least, in this slide, which previously didn't have anyone on it. I was volunteered yesterday morning, I think. Voluntold, I think that's the word we came up with in workshop E. But anyway, I hope, I hope this works out OK. So a little summary. I, I, by the way, I'm probably not going to go on for 20 minutes. You'll get out early. Um, a little summary of day one from a very biased um, perspective. Um, a few little quotes I found interesting. Content that is more accessible and usable is more likely to be preservable. So I feel like the accessibility aspect and the usability aspect actually go together with pre preservation. That was, that was a very interesting. Maybe, maybe we're all going in the same direction. Hooray. In many other ways, we're probably not. Like, preserve, to preserve something, you have to destroy it. Let's hope we don't have to destroy too much. Um, I wish I had the magic answer to that. I can't remember what the question was, but I'm sure we all do that. And uh, there was a question about whether conferences are preserved. And I actually asked Mark this question, has, has this conference been preserved? If you look on the website, uh, the R2R website, there is a, a little link saying history next to FAQ. And there are all the uh, timetables, at least, the programme listings from 2016 onwards. And some of them have links to YouTube. So you can go back that far. Whether YouTube is actually a very good preservation medium can be debated. But this is something we should probably think of about on the advisory board. Um, one thing we did on day one was the quiz, which I hope everybody enjoyed. I felt it really got us talking to each other in smaller groups and um, broke the ice a bit. There was lots of interesting questions. This one I'd like to talk about a bit more. Now we've seen the answer. So the Haskell Free Library and Opera House is a real library on the border of Canada and the USA. But the other ones, uh, Mark has put in some interesting kind of uh, Easter eggs, I suppose. Uh, Bibliothèque de Maquillage. Maquillage actually means made up. Um, and Pincé de Sel, Pinch of Salt, that was it. Did you notice that? <laughs> Um, the Mohamed Bazoum Institute. Mohamed Bazoum is the, uh, the president of Niger. Don't know if you know that. Mali and Chad are actually a thousand miles apart, separated by Niger. So if you guessed that one, your geography of Africa may need a bit of work. Uh, and the Pinochet Research Station Library. I mean, those territories do exist, but I, we, I suppose it's unlikely that Pinochet may have set up a research station in Antarctica. So. There we go. Um, day two, a few little quotes. Publish less, publish better. There's an alternative suggestion to publish or perish. Um, should any quantitative metrics be used at all? I know we've been talking met about metrics an awful lot. That was one suggestion, I think, from some unions. Um, there were you know, some disadvantages of metrics. Yeah, it's the endless debate, isn't it? Uh, the impact factor, it keeps on living. Uh, I don't think it's going to stay around for a little while, but maybe it is a bit of a zombie. Um, maybe we should talk more about those incentives. This is the stinky fish. Um, yeah. <laughs> and we had a lovely word cloud towards the end. Are we all confused or hopeful or excited? I don't know. Um, there, are, there was lots of talk about diversity, inclusion, uh, equality, inclusion, and accessibility. Here is the uh, photos of everyone who was involved in this conference, or nearly everyone, I think. We're doing kind of okay. Well, we probably better not pat ourselves on the back. We could do better on diversity of in people involved. We are probably better than we were last year in the last few years. That's a start. Um, a few other thoughts about that. We did at one point having, have people online in Australia at 9pm 
and at 4 a.m. in the USA at the same time as we were mid-morning here, which I think is quite good on diversity and accessibility in some ways. Um, it has been an, what Mark calls an aggressively hybrid conference. I hope it wasn't too aggressive for you, but we've, we've tried really hard as an advisory board to make it work well for the online participants and the people in the room. Personally, I felt it really good to be online even when I was in this building. For the last couple of hours, I've actually been in a different room preparing this talk while listening into the talks um, and you know, feeling involved um, even though I don't need to be in the room. So I think it's worked in many ways and do let us know if it hasn't for you. In terms of diversity of people, we did have two Smiths, two Jones and two Watkinsons. Lots of um, very British sounding names. We probably need to work on that one. Maybe we can go more diverse uh, away from yeah, Englishness <laughs> or actually Welshness when it comes to Jones. Um, there was a suggestion, should we go back to the Royal Society days and have publishing all about, let's just sit down and review a few papers without it all being about profits. Um, one, uh, I think this is Mark again, sorry. Um, one way of talking about that is called Make Publishing Great Again, which I think is probably not the slogan we should be using. Um, but, um, you know, the Royal Society days, I seem to remember, were not very much about open science or at all about equality, because everyone was a lord at that point when they were doing any science at all. So, yeah, something to think about. And there was some discussion on the um, platform comments in Indonesian for a while. And there was, there's been lots of talk about what other countries than Britain and, and uh, Latin America, Asia, Africa. Actually, why are we in London? Should we be in Bali or Bogota or Bulawayo next time? Bali, it, it would be nice, yeah. <laughs> um, so here's a few final reflections on R2R this year. Um, John Hammersley on Twitter pointed out this beautiful ceiling above us. Do have a look if you're in the room now. This is a wonderful room and I'm very grateful. I hope we are all very grateful to BMA House for hosting this um, in their lovely building. Um, we had a few nice things from being in person. We have Tasha doing the knitting. It's still going over there. Um, this is a close-up of the socks, the pair of socks she's actually uh, um, knitting at the moment. We also had an alternative thing to do while listening, which was the jigsaw. I had a go at it. I hope you did. Then online, we had the Miro boards. We had the spatial chat. We had the um, conference uh, platform chat as well. And we've, as I say, we've been trying hard to make this a good uh, hybrid experience. One of the speakers, Zosha, I think, said that she's planning a conference and uh, is looking at how we're doing it. And there was a quote in a different context, good decisions come from experience, experience comes from making bad decisions. So I do hope that other conferences can learn from R2R, &R, maybe in our good decisions, but also in our bad decisions, and that we can show other conferences how to do hybrid and make it work. And that's all I've got to say. Uh, I'll hand over to Mark. Thank you, Anna. When I, uh, she, she lied to you. When I uh, told her that she was giving this presentation at about um, two o'clock today, I said, you know, you, you want to do this, you will enjoy it and I hope she did but um, thank you Anna very much for doing that and just reminding us of what we've uh, experienced the last couple of days so um, really I have no other tasks for you I have no other uh, things to say other than of course what the survey fill in the survey we really we're mad for the survey so please do fill it in on paper or online um, but that really concludes our conference. I see, see some of you in the pub, those of you who are in the building in the pub, definitely those of you who are online, if you can get to the pub, um, that will be impressive. Um, but I'd just like to thank you all for being here and for supporting this, uh, this interesting conversation that we've all had. Thank you.